In this video, we are going to make this professional business card. So first, set up the page. Use these dimensions. Choose inches. From here, choose RGB and give to artboard. OK. So now we have two artboard. Let's draw a rectangle over both the artboard. Change the color. Similarly, draw another rectangle over second artboard like this. Now select them both and remove the outlines and lock them. Let's work on the first artboard. So let us zoom it by using zoom tool. Let's zoom it more. Yeah, now it looks fine. Now let's draw some curve by using pen tool. Now remove the fill color of the curve line and change the outline color. Now select this curve and use smooth tool and move over it. Now it looks better. Let's draw another curve by using pen tool. Now draw a straight line by pressing and holding shift key. We'll use this straight line as an axis and reflect our curves. Do multiple selections by pressing shift key. Now click on reflection tool. Drag the center by using alt key. And copy. Let's draw another axis so that we can reflect it once again. Now select those two curves on the top by pressing shift key and drag the center by using alt key and OK. Now it looks fine. Let's delete those uh, axis line. Now let's work on the second artboard. Take pencil tool and draw a curve line here. Now select this curve line and use smooth tool and move over it and make the curve more smoother. Now it looks fine. Let's draw another curve. Now let's unlock all the objects that we locked before. Select all the objects of the first artboard, take shape builder tool, change the color and make some shapes like this. Now 
Now delete all those unwanted lines. Similarly, select all the objects of second artboard, take shape builder tool, change the color and make some shapes here too. Delete those unwanted things. Do multiple selections by using shift key and remove their outlines. Similarly, remove the outlines of second artboard object. Now change the color. Let's use some gradient color. You can mix some colors here. Let's fill up the design with details. So I have those details already. Just I am dragging it. You can use your own details here. Let's save our design in PNG transparent so that we can apply it for mockup. So here you can increase the size. And you can view it. And save it in desktop. Now select the second artboard and save it to in PNG transparent. Increase the size. Preview it. And click on save. You can put any name and save it. Now open your Photoshop CS6 or Photoshop CC and open your PSD mockup file. I'll share the link of mockup in description. You can download it and open our uh, design here. Now double click on the first layer. Drag our design over this new window. Make smaller in size by pressing and holding Alt key. Now fill the design over complete page by pressing and holding Shift key. Mark it. Unmark those background. Close it. Yes. You can check your mockup now. Similarly, let's apply mockup on other side. So click over the second layer and drag your design once again. Use shift key and fill it. Mark it, unmark those background, close it, yes. And now you can check your complete mockup. Yeah, now it looks good. Hope you like this tutorial. You can subscribe us. See you in next video.